Hi, my name is Sam Darkangelis. I'm president and founder of Criterion Chemical LLC here in Newark, New Jersey. I've been in business for about four years now. I'm entering my fifth year looking for a new manufacturing line. I decided to look far and wide and find something that was unique, something that was beautiful, and something that was lucrative that I could make myself. Here's what I have to offer. This is a small sample of Phoenician purple, an ancient fabric dye that I made in my lab. Even today, it would take laborers harvesting tens of thousands of shellfish in order to produce this amount. For thousands of years, this was one of the most prized substances on the planet and still holds value today. Criterion has come up with a way to make this magnificent dye in bulk, at lower cost, without exploiting workers, and without harming the environment. With sufficient funding, I can purchase the equipment necessary to make Phoenician purple available to the textile, fabric, and other industries. The primary piece of equipment I'll need is a reactor like the one shown here that allows me to perform the necessary synthesis on the kilogram scale. Each different step has been designed and scaled up to fit one size reactor. This one. Some of the steps will be plain old water but some will require solvents, so I'll need a rotary evaporator like this one to recover those solvents quickly. I can then use a distillation apparatus like the one shown here in order to rectify those solvents, allowing efficient recycling, preventing contamination, and waste. Other minor equipment, some shown here, is used to monitor, filter, process, dry, or analyze these reactions as well contributors to the funding of this project get something very unique, and no, it's not the coffee mug in the background. Criterion Chemical is going to provide you your very own sample of pure Phoenician purple pigment from the first scale batch I make. The sample will come vacuum sealed in a glass ampule like the one shown here. What can you do with it? Well, that's the fun part. You can either keep it sealed forever, or you can break it open and use it as a pigment in white paint, or experiment. This substance is expected to be safe and non-toxic. Remember, the same substance comes from a little clam that's edible, purple and all, but I don't recommend eating it. For my part, I have a trade secret, a unique method of getting Phoenician purple into various kinds of fabrics, and this is the result. This is a test panel made of different strips of fabric, which have been treated with my purple process. This image is in true color matched against the real dyed object, which was originally just off-white. As you can see, Phoenician purple has an affinity for the classics, silk, wool, and cotton, as well as some modern fibers like rayon and nylon too. But what makes this purple so special is that it doesn't fade in the sun. It is, in fact, color fast as denim blue and becomes deeper purple with exposure to the sun. Perfect for today's animal-friendly, environmentally-friendly, beach-going society. Whether it is a novelty pigment for you, or natural dye in the new textile industries, like it's being used here, there is no doubt. It is an ancient wonder, the original, luxurious purple from 4,000 years ago, worn only by clergy and royalty for thousands of years, lost to antiquity in the 15th century, rediscovered in the 17th century, Reauthenticated in the 20th century, and now Criterion is poised to make it available in the new millennium. Please help fund this project and bring this ancient wonder back to life.